Recovery of economy has been possible due to timely steps taken during Corona pandemic, said Prime Minister. VAT on edible oil, sugar and gram revoked to keep prices of commodities affordable during Ramadan, said Finance Minister. Russia and Ukraine's foreign minister level meeting ends without decision Russia bombing Ukrainian hospital 17 wounded. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to My TV English News. I'm Ashikul Zaman with you in the newsroom today. You are watching the headlines now. The headlines. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said that recovery of agricultural economy has been possible due to timely steps taken by the government during the coronavirus pandemic. She called for strengthening regional cooperation in agricultural research. The Prime Minister was speaking at the inaugural session of the FAO Regional Conference for Asia and the Pacific this morning. At the same time, the Prime Minister made three proposals for enhancing regional cooperation in agriculture research and education transfer and sharing of sophisticated technologies including biotechnology among FAO member countries and setting up a fund for financing and assistance in agriculture. Supply chain was disrupted affecting both the producers and consumers. However, our timely and effective interventions helped the sector to recover first. We took special measures including mechanization to ensure unhindered food production and supply of agriculture inputs. COVID-19 pandemic revealed how vulnerable human beings are in the face of such disaster. Finance Minister A.H.M. Mustafa Kamal has said that VAT on edible oil, sugar and gram has been revoked to keep prices of essential commodities affordable during Ramadan. He was responding to a question from reporters after a meeting of the Cabinet Committee on Public Procurement and the Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, which was held under the chairpersonship of the Finance Minister. The Finance Minister said the government is cooperating fully to keep the prices of goods at a tolerable level. Awami League General Secretary and Road Transport and Bridges Minister Obaidul Qadir have warned to take stern actions against traders if they do business by taking people hostage during the holy month of Ramadan. He also said that illegal stockpiling of goods storage and formation of any syndicate should be stopped. He made the call during a briefing at his office in the Secretariat today, noting that Sheikh Hasina did not accept any existence. Those are against the public interest syndicate in the market, Ubadul Qadir said that all traders working to destabilize the market by targeting Ramadan should be careful. CID has arrested three persons from capitals Kilgao and Gulshan areas, including Alumgir Hussein, the ringleader of the fraudsters on charge of embezzling crores of money from various suppliers by making fake work orders in the name of various projects. Fake work order copies, checkbooks of different banks and mobile phones were also recovered from the detainees. Speaking at a press conference at the CID's media center at noon, additional DIG Imam Hussein and said the ring had been cheating by creating fake work orders. Beside the CID arrested four persons from Jatrabari and Gulshan areas of the capital, including Masum Billa, the ringleader of the group for using various models and actresses' names and pictures. Russia and Ukraine's foreign minister level meeting mediated by Turkey since the start of the war has ended without any decision, says Ukrainian foreign minister. Along with this, Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's hopes of opening a permanent ceasefire were dashed. Meanwhile, a hospital in Ukrainian city of Mariupol was bombed by Russian forces during a ceasefire. Yasir Arafat has more. Ukraine has accused Russia of bombing a children's hospital and maternity ward in the besieged port city of Mariupol. The exact number of casualties is yet to be known, although 17 were injured and several children were trapped under the rubble. 
Referring to the incident as a war crime, Ukrainian President Zelensky immediately called for a no-fly zone in the country's skies, saying, you have the power, but you are losing humanity. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres called the attack as horrific and called for an immediate end to the violence. Meanwhile, Germany has said they will not send any warplanes to Ukraine. Earlier, Poland has offered that they could send their mix to Ukraine via a US base in Germany, but the United States rejected the offer. On the other hand, parts of war-torn capital Kiev, Kharkiv, Chernobyl, Sumy and Marinopol have been under a 12-hour ceasefire to allow civilians to evacuate safely. However, there are reports of bombing in some places. Fighting is raising north and northwest of Kyiv. Yasir Arafat, MyTV, Newsdesk. Russia's economy has been hit hard by sanctions. They are also looking for ways to impose more sanctions. The Western alliance is moving forward with the aim of preventing its international reserves in the Russian central bank from being subject to sanctions. And this is why Russia is leaning towards digital currency system. As a result, Russia is not worried about the country's economy even in war situation. Jubair Rahman has more. Comes with a horrific toll on the, the West has been imposing economic embargoes after one another to put pressure on Russia over its attack on Ukraine. At the same time, the Western alliance has taken steps to prevent Russian banks from using the messaging system SWIFT, used by banks to transfer funds from one country to another. But unreliable internet complicates things. However, Russia is using cryptocurrency or digital currency as a shield against these sanctions. The country has 1.7 million people with cryptocurrency accounts, which analysts believe will help them overcome the crisis through financial transactions. 25,000 addresses related. Cryptocurrencies are most popular in Russia. In response to Western sanctions, Putin's allies are increasingly leaning towards this. Cryptocurrency is a medium of exchange in e-commerce or darknets known for prohibited transactions around the world. Most of the darknets are Russian language based and most are operated from Russia and the former Soviet republics of Eastern Europe. The Ukrainians under attack. The annual volume of cryptocurrency transactions conducted by Russian citizens is about five billion dollars. They are also one of the most active participants in the world in this market. A large part of the country also has digital assets. So Russia is on its way to legalizing cryptocurrency in the coming days to end the crisis. Adopt more of it. Also because of the use of blockchain technology, it is not known from which country these financial transactions are being made. So using this digital money, Russia will be able to buy goods as well as invest outside Russia. Coins is picking up on exchange. Zubair Rahman, My TV News Desk. At least three people were killed when a motorcycle collided with an electric pole in Bagirhat's Mongla. The victims, were identified as Bayezid Zakaria and Sakib, were returning from Mongla Chatpai Mela at around 11.30 p.m. The accident took place on the way back home near Joy Bangla Road up Mokhali Bridge in Chatpai Union. Later, the locals rescued them and took them to Mongla Upujala health complex where on-duty doctors declared them dead. Now international news. The Varatiya Janata Party BJP has won assembly elections in four of India's five states unofficially. Although they won in Uttar Pradesh, Goa and Uttarakhand and the Gowara camp, but in Punjab, an Am Admi party came to power. Although BJP has won in four states, it is becoming clear that their votes have deceased. In Uttar Pradesh, BJP got 325 seats in 2017. This time, they got 257 seats. In Punjab, the Am Admi party got 20 seats in last election. This time, they have won 91 seats. While the Congress was in second position in Punjab, Goa and Uttarakhand, it did not do well in other two states. In Goa, Mamata Benaji's Trinamool Congress has won only two seats. We are about to the end. The headlines once again. Recovery of economy has been possible due to timely steps taken during coronavirus pandemic, said Prime Minister. 
vat on edible oil, sugar and gram revoked to keep prices of commodities affordable during Ramadan, said Finance Minister. Russia and Ukraine's foreign minister's level meeting ended without decision. Russia bombing Ukrainian hospital, 17 wounded. BJP has won assembly election in four of India's five states unofficially. And Real Madrid and Man City are in the last eight of Champions League. That's all for now. To join with MyTV News online, please visit YouTube slash MyTV News. And to watch all our programs, please visit YouTube slash MyTV Bangla, Facebook slash MyTV Bangla, and Twitter slash MyTV Bangla. Our next news bulletin will be telecast in Bangla at 7.30 p.m. Stay connected. Allah Hafiz.